In this story, I'll tell you how a one-of-a-kind pair of Chuck Taylors helped me make a brand new wallet. Cue the intro. So the story begins with me and the guys from the Making Geeks podcast. We were recently invited to attend uh, the Making It 100 podcast event in Boston, Massachusetts. And while we were there, we got a tour of the Converse World Headquarters, where the event was hosted. And it was amazing. We got to see the awesome sights. We got to hang out. And while we were there, the design team created a custom pair of PI Workshop Chuck Taylors. So I knew when I got home that I wanted to commemorate the event by making something from some of the materials that I had gathered while I was there. But what? I know I needed a wallet. I've been through several iterations of wallets and never really been happy with them. They usually end up accumulating a bunch of garbage that I don't really need on a day-to-day -day basis. Things like membership cards or business cards that people have given me and you know things that you don't really need. They just end up hurting your butt when you sit on them all day. So my first wallet held way too much stuff and I realized I didn't need it all so I wanted to downsize. Except the Legoland card, you can keep that. So my next wallet was made out of Tyvex which was really durable and really thin and it forced me to kind of slim down what I had. But I still found that I had way too much stuff in there. It was really neat and novel but it was too big and stuff was slippery and it didn't really hold in all my equipment. So I didn't really like that one either. So after a lot of arts and crafts time and creating my own template I came up with a nice streamlined wallet. So it had to have some key functions. I had to be able to hold my security badges from work because we live on base now in the RV and I constantly forget my badges and get locked out. I also had to hold my driver's license, my you know, debit card, some cash, things like that. You know, stuff you need with you all the time. And it's nice and secure to make sure everything held in nice and firm so I can finally get rid of all this unnecessary garbage. And doesn't hurt your butt when you sit on it. So here's a template that I came up with. This is like revision 6. I made a bunch of these. And it is going to be used to cut out the paper from the bag that my shoes came in. So this material is like a Tyvex material. It's got some thread uh, interwoven. It's 80% recycled material, which is really awesome. And it came straight from Converse Royal Headquarters in Boston, which hosted the Making a 100 event. Now here we go, speeding up this time lapse cut up the sides of the bag because I really just needed the flat parts. I tried to get the Converse logo in as much as I can because you know this wallet meant something to me and I wanted to remember that event. So here we are cutting out the template. I use a notepad as a straight edge and we're going to use that a little bit later. So set it on the bag and I try to get the Converse logo in there as best I can. Try to transfer that cool image. And you got to note the registration marks on your paper so you know where to fold. Uh, you know where to line up the additional structure pieces later. So I cut it out with a brand new X-Acto knife blade. It cut like butter. The material is very strong. It's got a really high tensile strength, but the X-Acto knife cut right through it. So here I'm using some of the cardboard as structural pieces. Cut out a notch on the top, and then a notch on the side. One's for the badges and one's for the regular cards. Now I tried some CA glue, some super glue, but it didn't work. Just some regular old you know, Elmer's glue stick worked really, really well for this material, even with the cardboard. So this is the point where I really regret recording this in time lapse. Toward the end where you make the very specific folds and how you tuck the paper in uh, is not very intuitive. I had to go through a couple iterations before I did it right, and even on this last version I messed it up. So if you're interested in doing this and making this wallet, then let me know in the comments below and I'll send you the template and maybe we can schedule a Google Hangout for some arts and crafts time. And here it is. My recycled, minimalistic wallet. Has a place for my ID, my cash, but more importantly, it has a place for my security badges so I can get on and off base without having to get my wife to come rescue me because I forgot them at the house. It slides right in and holds it in place with no problem. Now I've been using this wallet for about a week now, and I was afraid that the fabric would loosen up and everything would fall out. But that's not the case. You know, everything has stayed nice and snug and stayed exactly where I want it. So it's been working out really, really well. You know, I sit in a cubicle all day and it doesn't hurt my butt sitting in my pocket, and it has everything I need right with me, including this goofy monkey-shaped multi-tool. So there you have it. 
All the requirements were met. You need to be able to hold badges, hold cash, hold cards, stay nice and secure, while having a very low footprint and forcing me to remove some of the excess garbage from my wallet. And I'd like to give a special thanks to the guys from the Making It podcast, Bob, David, and Jimmy, for giving us the chance to show up to the Making It 100 event and for being the real inspiration behind this awesome project. Thanks for stopping by the PI Workshop.